We are all netizens here. So, why is the web so important? What is the web that we love? The internet has become... Sorry? So, yeah, the, the internet has become the part of our modern life. We communicate with friends who are across the, spread across the globe. And we talk to uh, new people and we uh, work with uh, people online. And we do networking with people who have never, who, with whom we have never met. And within seconds, we know if there is an earthquake in Japan or if, if there is a revolution happening in Libya or we know if our friend has went to some movie and the KFC bucket that he has ordered. So the communication and sharing on the internet are getting more interactive than ever. So we, we, on the internet, we are able to find that things that overwhelm us. And the internet has brought us the originality of the content, the engagement, and the interactivity. So the web we love is made of two things. One is the open source stack that has built the both front and back end infrastructure uh, uh, that, that, that gave rise to the internet that we know and love today. And the second thing is the internet is built based on the idea that anyone can find things that are useful to them and they can share the things that they find important to them. So, so, okay. so web is something that builds as uh, something that evolves as we contribute it. I mean we share photos, we share videos, we talk to our friends and that's how the, the network builds, that's how that the web evolves as we do things on each day. I mean, it's, it's based on the everyday sharing. So now I'm going to tell you about a community that is trying to build the web they want. So I'm going to talk about Mozilla and its uh, 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 Mozilla community, which is a global community. Before that, I'd like to t uh, take you back to the year 2003. In 2003, Sachin Tendulkar was awarded the man of the tournament at ICC Cricket World Cup. And uh, that was the time when India went to finals. And it was the time Second War of Iraq was taking place. And India uh, refused to send troops to uh, Iraq. Uh, and that probably made Bush angry. But our Washpe government was pretty strict on that. And that was the time the web was in danger. You can see here the web monopoly was taking place. I mean, people did not have any choice on the web. They could not, I mean, the web, the web developers did not have uh, the choice of making the things they want to show on the web. They had to use these complex techniques to make sure that their website work on these kind of browsers. Microsoft reached almost 95% of the market share and it, it almost, uh, I mean, uh, making these complexities on the web made like, uh, I mean, giving rise to security loopholes and the web standard was not cared. So this almost brought an end to the innovation, rapid innovation that was happening on the web. So the web was becoming less transparent, less open, and it was getting locked down. Uh, that's a real, real threat. And 2003 was the year when Mozilla Foundation was born with a mission to guard the open nature of the internet. So our main uh, so we believe that the internet is a critical public resource that must remain open and accessible to all. And the best way to realize this vision is free, sorry, free and open source software de developed and promoted through transparent community process. So, yeah, so the trans when we are talking about community, Mozilla is a community of uh, hundreds of thousands of people who, who believe, who have a shared values and who believe in the power and potential of technology and in, in enriching the people's lives, like making for softwares like Firefox web browser, which is a free and uh, one of the, uh, one, that is one of the examples.
So together we rebuilt the platform on the web. I mean, to, to, together we rebuilt the browser. I mean, the, all these people, thousands of people across the world. Together we rebuilt and we improved the web. So here you can see before uh, it, it in 2003, between 2001 and 2006, Microsoft only released only one version of its Internet Explorer. But when after after the community uh, came into the picture, you can see th that the things they were uh, making on the web, and that made other change their strategies and work on their own upgrade, upgrade uh, technology upgrade strategies. So, how is Mozilla able to do such things? It's at a large scale. One side you see, uh, one side you see these large corporations with lots of money. And the other side, you see a not-profit corporation, not-for-profit not, not organization that is trying to help the web. So community is the backbone of the Mozilla project. It is the community that has built Mozilla what it is today by developing, testing, and localizing the software and marketing the software to the world. So more than 70% of the people who use Mozilla products like Firefox they heard about it through word of mouth or their friends or their colleagues. So sometimes the community steps ahead and they go beyond the conventional ways in spreading the word. Uh, they, they do crop circles, they wear fancy costumes and walk on the streets, uh, they light the city of the room, and Accessibility. Accessibility on the web is one major thing. I mean, any today's technologies and the software should be usable by any kind of person. I mean, if, uh, irrespective of the language he speaks or the, from the region he comes. So uh, th there are like 500 people who came forward from different regions across the world and uh, helped localize the Mozilla software into more than IT languages. And that covers 95% of the world internet languages. And that include 12 Indian languages, more than 12 Indian languages. And it is all made possible by community of volunteers. So these volunteers, for example, uh, the one standing beside the computer, she is Annie Peter from Kerala. She wanted to have uh, the software in Malayalam and take it to her regional region. So she, f she came forward and did the whole software localization on her own. And today it is used by a few thousand people from the same region and uh, the people from other countries also who speak Malayalam. So these are the kind of stories you hear across, across the community. So there are 1,000 plus coders, 4 lakh Bugzilla accounts, and yite like beta testers. Mozilla has this rapid release cycle that lets a new version of software release is released every six weeks. So that making possible to bring today's latest technologies and innovations on the web are available as and when they are ready. Rather than keeping these softwares and technologies in the shelves for months and years, they release as they come. So one of the best example, I mean, there are almost a a million people who help beta test and give feedback on what should be in the final release of the software. Uh, one of the best stories that I like from the community is there is this 12-year-old uh, boy called Alex Miller. He's a, uh, a Mozilla contributor. So he helped find a, a very serious uh, security flaw in the Firefox code and helped fix it. So these are the kind of uh, contributions that peer-to-peer -peer reviewing does. And as a thank you, Mozilla uh, gifted the boy a $3,000. So yeah. And this, this software developed by, uh, by thousands of volunteers, uh, tested and localized by the volunteers, is used by more than 400 million users around the world. You can see here, more than 60%, almost 60% of the software is contributed by community of volunteers. Uh, and the, the, I mean, when, when the community means it's, it's the people, the people who use the web. They, they want they come and do the things that they want to do on the web, and they contribute, and they build the web they want. So. Mozilla soft is an open source software. Its, 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 its code has been used to build some of the internet's most innovative products. Like you must have heard of Postbox, uh, Epic, uh, Epic Browser is the Indian version of the Firefox browser, 
and Firefox open platform. And there are many more. So uh, these volunteers, uh, one of the important things in the community is events provide uh, these volunteers to meet in person and share their, uh, share their uh, knowledge or uh, learn from each other. So what they do is they tap into uh, some of the conferences or they, they become part of technology groups to learn and share the knowledge that they have and work on the things to improve, improve, the, improve the web. Or they host the, uh, or, so these people does a lot of hard work and that does not stop them from celebrating. Uh, during the, one of the uh, software launches, the community from India itself hosted launch parties in more than 21 cities. So you can see the, uh, the different uh, things that the community do. So these communities around the world, the way they are collaborating, working together, spreading the word and having fun was very much inspiring to me. Uh, and th they were different kind of people, coders, teachers, lawyers, some were doctors, uh, some were artists. So th th there was a, a typical crowd, I mean not uh, as fully coders, but th this typical crowd. And there was this belongingness and the strong emotion that was common among every, every person. So that, that inspired me to start as a student volunteer. So I, st I started as a student volunteer and I, 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 I'll, I'll skip something. So I, I myself started as a student volunteer. I wanted to do something different and let people know that, uh, I mean, uh, that there are better ways. Uh, there are better ways to browse the web. So one day I, uh, I'll skip this thing. So I, I one day, I was preparing for. I'm a mechanical engineer. One day I was preparing for my uh, dynamics of motion exam, and uh, I, I thought, why not make an ad video for Firefox? So. I, I, the first thing that came to me in my mind was a car. So what I did was I, I wrote down all the things that were common in between a car and, a, and the Firefox browser. So and I, I made a concept out of it. I, I had a, a, a Orkut friend. <laughs> uh, he used to make a small uh, 10 minutes documentary movie. So I shared my idea with him and said, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and do this thing. So we rented one on on a weekend. We rented a camera for five hundred rupees and shot the video at a nearby place. And uh, as a result, uh, we uploaded the video to YouTube and Vimeo. So as a result, the video was uh, greatly received, and uh, it got a, a thousands of views and a thousands of likes in less than a day. And uh, the, the video was shared in um, MTV blog, and uh, it was. Uh, it got a mention in New York Times. <laughs> so, uh, right. And the, nex the next day morning, <laughs> I found uh, three job offers waiting in my inbox and uh, hundreds of thank you emails. So it was a bit of crazy time for me. I, I, I did not know what to do. And uh, after some time, uh, I, after, after a few months, I got to do my internship at uh, Mozilla headquarters, Mountain View. Uh, after, after while I was there, I thought like there are many people who are uh, uh, who have a less technical knowledge, but they can do things uh, that that can actually uh, spread the word or do things uh, that that they are interested in. So after I returned to India, I wanted to bring together people who shared the same passion, and that was the reason I, I worked with I worked with the existing community members to form the Mozilla India and uh, it, it, it is the responsibility and the freedom that I get as part of the community let me do things that are larger than myself so uh, today I'm able to help communities not just in India I'm helping we are trying to help build communities and uh, help people do things in Bangladesh Sri Lanka in, in most of the Asian countries so th th that is the, the responsibility and the freedom that I get as part of the community so one of the uh, community members says, yeah, students of Mozilla become mentors, each mentoring a few students of their own. It snowballs. Before you knew it, you become to a community of millions. It is these small incremental changes that foster the growth and change the world. So uh, building, I think anyone who, who cares about the internet can learn those 
these ways of uh, working and bring their skills and creativity to make the web a better place. I think, uh, I believe uh, building a better internet is an ambitious goal, but it is possible when people who, who care about the web step forward and make a, make a, a contribution. I think, I think that is the best way to build the web we love. Thank you.